Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And yes, you thought we were gone away? No, we're still right here. And yes, we still have more stories to discuss with you guys. So um, the first, the next story is Lala Akindoju, who has won upcoming actors to step clear of the veteran actor. Um, the veteran actor now is Durdai Jaye, who shared on Instagram and began to gain momentum among upcoming actors. In the trending post dated January 29, the veteran actor asked upcoming actors to pay 35,000 Naira to join his movie project. According to Akindo, Juju Jai's actions were fraudulent as actors need not to pay to audition or get a role in Nollywood. And I'm just wondering, are actors hungry now? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not funny. I didn't know. Mm. Because I've, in all my life, I've never seen where, you know, you actually go public to tell people. It, it Confidently. Happens. Because yeah, it dress. happens. It happens in the back, in, you know, in the, in the other room. You know, you just come and you be like, okay, I can get you a movie roll, pay me 100000 mm. give me 20000 mm. But when you now start doing it with your full chest, like, you know, now it's like you don't even have to be qualified. You don't even need as to know how to do it. Just money. as long as you have thirty five thousand, yeah, yes, that baby girl. I don't know what I don't understand his rationale towards making that kind of decision. To be honest, like, how did you think about defending this behavior? Like. What do you want to say that the money is for? To buy the paper? Yeah, he was trying use? to defend himself. He was. Like, he's um, going to be like a mentor, teach you what to do. Like, nah. and But getting you a role, isn't that like reaching? Like, think about it. Saying, I will give you a role. Do you get Like, if you say, okay, for an audition, you know, for an agency, you know, be a mm. member, then we'll see if you're good enough, we mm. can get, you know, that's a better mm -hmm. lie. You know, it's a better way mm. of putting it than saying, I will give you a movie role. Do you understand? Even um, established actors, some of them, they don't fit into some roles anymore, so they don't get cast mm. most of the time anymore. So it's... to be fair, when the person that's talking doesn't get cast. Um, mm, 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 mm. Lala? Nah, nah. No, not Lala. Uh, the guy. Uh, nah, he's still, he's, still, he's still something, at least with the African magic, um, Yoruba scene. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I don't watch that. I, we can't knock him off. He's still trending in that mm. aspect, Yoruba movie. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> uh, when last did you see him in a Yoruba movie? Um, This weekend. I watched the movie. And, and it was in the movie. Yes. And it's a recent Yoruba movie. Mm -hmm. Um, What's the title of the Yoruba? Oh Lord, please don't let me remember. Why the, don't I check? Why the movie horrible? <laughs> <laughs> no, no if the, the movie is horrible. I can't remember the name, but I'll, I checked the date. I mean, we're not in mm -hmm. the Yoruba scene, so we can't really mm -hmm. argue this one. So she said well, she's I, in I, there, then yeah. sure. I'm, I'm definitely sure. But what I really want to talk about the, in this aspect. Maybe there's is no like, money in that industry. I don't know. No, we yeah, have yeah, those that are doing well yeah, in the Yoruba movie yeah. space. Come mm -hmm. on. Have you seen Messi Aibe? Have you seen Tony? Even she, Tony she's Aibe? not really that pronounced. Have you seen who? who is Lala? No, Messi Aibe now, who you just mentioned right yeah. now. Yeah? She's not that. She's not really into Yoruba movies Yoruba, but she's anymore. pronounced in the Nollywood mm. space. She's I mean, got a new range space. of her as well. You know? <laughs> wow. It could be in social media space. I mean, that that that's bringing a lot of money. Yeah, but Joe, it's you know, very relevant in the social so media very, space. Especially mm -hmm. with TikTok and she's yeah. cashing out. And I think she's carrying her family along. Her son is a TikTok TikToker. Mm. Her daughter is a TikToker. TikToker yeah. She's a TikToker herself. They're making a and lot of money. Out from Big it. time. So, then, yeah, it's making a lot of sense. So, and all of them now brand influencers. Brand influencers. Mm. That's the business. Yeah. Family That's business. That's the business. <laughs> like when that. are we going to start influencing brands? We, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anywho. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, about the story. So what he said that you have to have thirty three thousand naira from right thirty five before, before you can get the rule. So are you trying to say um, talents and how good you are does not really there's no more the criteria before they can give you a movie role. So if you're talented and you're good. And you, you don't have, have 35, and you don't have thirty five thousand now. That means you can't be in the movie. It doesn't really make sense because I feel this scene should be based on talent and how good you are. It's not how much money. Any, any, sorry, any time you can have thirty three thousand and not be talented and just pay mm. you. So would you just put me there if I'm not showing you that? Okay, I'm actually. So mm. I'm actually good. I think what was even the bigger part of the story for me was the way Lala called him out. Mm -hmm. I think usually in the entertainment industry, you see how a lot of celebrities do not like to call out each other. Madeline if anything, mm -hmm. if anything, they're the ones that, I think it's only the entertainment space that I know that we do that thing where somebody has been called out for, for rape or something and then he posts something and you see people in the comment sections, ha ha ha, love, 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 fire, love fire. Mm. 
they are the ones that always have that fake love and um, mm -hmm. stuff going on. So that really made me respect Lala. Lo a lot of the times, Lala, Lala actually play. itches Lala me the wrong play. way, in my opinion. I feel like she itches me the wrong way. Like mm. she can be doing too much. Lala. Mm. Yeah, in my opinion. There's just oh. some things that I remember we've talked about her on this table. And she said something that was so offensive to me that long time ago. And I think Lala is a sweet that had person. just like registered in the back of my head. I don't know her personally, so I can't say she's a sweetheart or not. But the little times that she has been on this table for like hot topics or something that she had tweeted, I didn't really like like where she was coming from. I can't remember now, but you know, you remember the impression people lay on you. Mm -hmm. But this one for me made me have a newfound respect for her because um, not only did she like not just talk about it the back of her table like the rest of the world had probably done since they saw mm -hmm. her, saw his tweet, but she went ahead to even go on social media and really warn people, just to remind people again that mm -hmm. even though this man, this man is trying to normalize this corrupt mm -hmm. behavior, I don't know, I just really respected everything that she sure. did about that. Like, and this I hope this has to bring me better. to um, Femi Leia, who was also on our table like um, a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. where he said, um, he, he's not doing that OAPs especially oh, on radio and okay. not doing him a favor by okay. playing his music right okay. that um, he gets DMs of people saying oh you have to pay me a certain sum of amount for me to be able to play your video um, for me to be able to play your music. songs on radio and he's wondering like and I know that happens a lot with music videos as mm. well you get me so I don't know I just think we need to do better in the space mm. where and I think uh, I think the problem the problem is on the pain media personalities. Do you understand? Now, if they are getting paid what they deserve, then maybe payola will not be the order of the day. But you I, find I a wish you didn't bring more. music to this conversation, Sha, because I think that that's very, very different. If I, I, with with the media space, I don't. I, from what I know, and I've, at least okay. I've done through two different continents now of how the media space works, it is very normal to pay for. Um, What's it called? Airplay. Airplay costs money. It's not free mm, business. Okay. Um, and a lot of the times, it, it is based on clout. Mm. So, yeah, the I because I watched his video a lot, and I know he was offended and da-da-da-da-da, mm -hmm. but it didn't make that much sense because you don't know how the structure of the entertainment industry or even just media spaces work. Mm -hmm. media, media mediums are not for free. Those papers in newspaper, every single word is paid for. Mm -hmm. Every mm -hmm. single airtime is paid for. So just because I'm playing... Um, Chris Brown's song does not mean that he's, I'm playing his song for free. He has enough clout to equivate the monetary value I'll be charging you. You don't. Mm. So Femi is good and all, all of that, but if he doesn't have the monetary value that my company needs, I'm not going to play his song. I'd rather play a Nicki Minaj song that will give me enough audience to then make money to be able to play the other people's song. It's That's a business. Audition. So let's That's not so do So shouldn't bring him in the same space yeah, with as, as, yes. Mm. That's All right, very so we'll different. leave Jurajai in the space and we're going to leave Femi Leia in the space. And leaving them in the spaces, we will be moving on to the next space, which is on Twitter. Twitter handle Yvon Jagede. Um, I mean, Yvon Jagede, we took mm -hmm. to a Twitter handle and complained over our monthly um, period, cramps, menstruation, I mean, and how the pain is no longer bearable for her. According to her, her whole body is sore, and despite the fact that she has given birth already, the period cramps still disturbs her. Whoever came up with the with the BS talk after a woman gives birth, her period cramps stops. Um, this pain is getting unbearable. My entire body is sore. God help me, she wrote. And mm. I think it's a lot of BS when, um, you know, um, what's it called now? People come out and start telling you that is it not just period? Come on, you've been doing this all your life. Is she really that Ooh. painful? Now, um, I always have real life experiences, right? So I was in a friend's house. Okay. Yeah, I, I, feel, I, I think so. I was like, okay. I was like, so, if there's something you want to tell us, you mentioned. So my girlfriend has um, mm -hmm. serious cramps, yeah? She probably won't walk up the stairs, and I, sometimes I have to carry her up the mm. stairs when she's on a period, right? Okay. So when I see a friend and um, I usually chill in his bedroom, like upstairs, not downstairs in the living room. So we went there together and she didn't want to go upstairs. And then when I got into my friend's room, we were there, you know, a few other friends and we're just chilling. And they're like, ah, where your babe? I was like, she's downstairs. You get, and they're like, ah, what's wrong? Why is she not coming upstairs? I said, oh, she's on a period. And the girl was like, oh, that's in the pain. And we, we all just turned at the same time like, 
dude, what's going on? The same reaction you guys mm. are. And he was like, no, 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 I've dated different girls. Some of them, they are some they paint, some mm. they can do everything. And he actually gave a hand. We just started laughing <laughs> like this guy has really been yeah. around. Do you understand? Yeah. So I think um, that's the level of sensitivity I think every man should have over. Mm -hmm. And that just taught me a lesson because at the end of the day, I, I even, that he was my girlfriend. I wasn't that sensitive. Do you understand? Mm. But the way he was so sensitive, like, oh, like you felt the, mm -hmm. you know that thing that somebody mm. told you about yeah. an accident and you just feel it like, oh, that must have been painful. Like that was the, his reaction. So I think a lot of men should be more sensitive. So I pass on the button to you guys. I think it's why some people actually disregard this period issues. Like different females experience different symptoms. Mm. Yeah. You, some females, they don't feel a single pain when they're on their period and some they'll feel as if they want to die i literally i have a friend that anytime she's on her period she she used to vomit blood mm. i'm serious i even say it was abnormal she, she went to the doctor and they told said it's completely normal that mm. people just have different symptoms with your own so i just feel like what if i just said right now just um i think people should just be sensitive about it because mm. i had a, uh, sorry an argument with someone that was like People and uh, girls that complain about um, period cramps are weak and everything. I mm. almost tore his head off. Like, <laughs> you don't know what's mm. going through. You just assume. Because yeah. I don't think anyone can relate except yeah. you go through it. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Um, I, I, I was trying to even search now for the term for people who have bad ment mentors. And it's called en endotrim endometriosis is what mm -hmm. it's called and um the first time i heard about it was this girl Haley. do you know Haley, the american singer yes yes, yeah, yes she's the one that brought it to life now everybody knows the condition like that you can have really bad messes like for example the blood mm -hmm. the bleeding of blood but never i've never really heard of the term endometriosis until that lady talked about it and how mm -hmm. like you might not even have that as a full-blown full -blown condition like she's had like ever since she saw her period she's had it really bad and she's probably gonna have it bad till menopause, menopause right mm -hmm. but um some people can have that once in a while so you could even be of of the, on the lucky side where like your period isn't crampy and then mm. one month mm -hmm. you have it really bad True. as well so um i like what you said about like not that until you have it no one can really explain it mm -hmm. it's not even just a gender thing that people um take for granted menstrual menstrual periods like i know a lot of women that on the good side who don't get people on the bad side like they'll be like ah guys it's not just menses mm -hmm. like relax Unfortunately, I'm one of those people that had it really bad. And I think the older I that get, it. that have it really oh, bad. Oh. And I think the older I get, the better it is. Mm -hmm. Like, first, first two, three years, when I started saying my period, there was no school, no exam. I'm missing every, even if it's like, life depends on it. Wow. I cannot attend it because my, my waist is basically unmovable. Like, I have to just be in lying down position for a long time. But as you get older, like, sometimes I can't come to work because of it. And then someone's are really good and they can start to know yourself a bit better like oh if i eat well this month then it's mm -hmm. nice or if i work out a bit more then it's nice so i think I, I think there's those variations as well but what she said was very discouraging to me because i was honestly under the impression that when you have kids mm -hmm. you would honestly feel some people feel actually better. feel better that's that just says not everyone has the same yeah thing. absolutely wow. but um in terms of uh, personal stories my mom even had <laughs> This conversation with me one time because I told her like, oh, I'm not at work that, you know, my period. Okay. She was like, I don't understand you people, though, that when she, she was younger, mm -hmm. you cannot tell their bosses that you can't come to work because you're of your period. Da, 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 da. And I was like, yeah, your, peri your, your generation, you people um, idolized uh, suffering. So <laughs> you people like that. You people <laughs> idolized the women that went through the worst in their marriages. Mm -hmm. You're like, we don't have that anymore. Like, this world is a lot more liberating. And let's not lie that even in your own, your own generation, the women who came to work when they had bad periods were unproductive anyway. Mm -hmm. And they'll be at the bathrooms crying yeah. the whole time. So what's the point? But they had to show up, mm -hmm. show up at work. That I work on TV. If I'm not good, then I'm not good. Like, I can't pretend. So, mm. yeah. Alrighty, um, I don't know. This just takes me to the video that was make that was making the rounds sometime last week of the guy who runs his wife's uh, water. Oh, it's really yeah. It makes it so he puts um, water in the water. Yeah. Puts a kilo behind oh. her. She doesn't like to swallow pills, so he puts it in a banana. Mm. You know, all of that. Unfortunately, it is because the guys they don't have that time. Huh? You think so? I feel like guys, don't, they do you know really what? I told that. Guys I, was, I was having very a conversation with that. somebody mm -hmm. yesterday that the fact that you don't get certain things, right? Don't think that is the standard. I fair, but let's not lie that we mm. can generalize that Nigerian mm. men are not patient. as well, patient I, I as that. I don't run bath water. Okay. I don't put pills in banana. 
I don't, and sometimes I can even be like, oh, it's too much. Like, mm -hmm. I can be mm -hmm. like that. So that we now see at that least eighty percent of the time, I'm caring, trying to say I'm sorry, trying to put a pillow behind you, trying to give you a massage, trying to make sure you're comfortable. You know, trying to do the basics. But if I, are you going to honestly do that every single morning? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. If I, are you even saying that you, because you have, you always claim to have years yeah. in your yeah. shoulders, mm -hmm. right? Are you trying to tell me that you don't know that in Nigeria the consensus? No, is I'm that saying, Nigerian men in general don't me. show that much PDA? I know. Okay, mm -hmm. I know. I'm okay. just telling you that. I fear. Do not generalize it. So okay. there's some of us that are still very generalize it. Okay, again, generalization does not mean that every single person falls under that category. Generalization means majority fall under that category. Majority of Nigerian men don't fall under that category. Yes, if nah. it's educated. only the younger ver the younger generation that started to. Are mm -hmm. you on the same page? Yet? Yes. Majority what do you mean educated? educated? Nigerians are educated. We're one of the most educated countries and um, 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 black countries in Africa. Doesn't have to do Africa. about um, you being educated. Nothing to do with education. Mm -hmm. It depends on exposure. About your personality. And mm -hmm. it, see, most born and raised Nigerian men I don't are know, not there's as something called BB that happens to men do you guys give it a lot of thoughts as well i've spoken to a lot of grown you know mature what, men and they tell me that, that thing is a scam it's not a scam <laughs> they tell me it's a scam <laughs> they tell hey, me it's a scam ladies that and it's gentlemen, just for... please join this conversation and tell us if you ever have bb as a man by you know send a message to zero nine zero six thousand five seven i want to know if you're too young you probably won't know what bb is but yes i'm sure a lot of men have picked up on what bb is and a lot of women do it to men and it is not a scam it is not a hoax ladies and gentlemen and coronavirus is not a hoax either and on that note it is a wrap thank you for watching join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time or twitter does at plus tv africa remember you can catch up on our previous episodes including this one and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa you can watch tea time on outer tv and in london on ben television a big thank you will go out to my co-anchors if i lua or my and uh, miss popola and of course the entire production team thank you for watching plus tv africa's tea time my name is ife oshinkeye Thank you.